I'm going to show you how to make the Haunted House applique from Creative Kiwi. For this I'm going to be using a 5x7 hoop, two layers of wash away stabiliser per hooping, a selection of threads with a matching bobbin on one of them, my squizzers, pins, some masking tape and my fabrics and batting cut to size. You'll find a link to this design in the video description below along with lots of other information such as where I get my supplies and some discount codes for you as well. Start off by hooping two layers of wash waste stabiliser. Place it over the outer frame and then insert the inner one. We're now going to pin around the top edge of our hoop and this will prevent our stabiliser from being dragged down through the two hoop pieces and uh, causing registration issues. So take your pin, rest it on top of the inside hoop, push it through your stabiliser, then bring it back round and through the stabiliser again. And then you're going to do exactly the same on all four sides. Load your first file into your machine and that's the bottom part of the house, the one with the cat in it. And then you're going to pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one and that's going to give you a placement outline for your batting. Place your batting over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it. Trim away the excess batting from around the edge of the stitch line, taking care of course not to cut your stitches. Place your front fabric for the house over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number three to secure it. Place your fabric for the window and door over the outline and then tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number four to secure it. Remove the tape from your window and door fabric and then you're going to trim up the excess fabric from around the edge of the stitch lines. Load your thread colour for the satin stitching of the door and the window into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number five. Change your thread colour for whichever one you want for the cat and then you're going to stitch round number six. Load your thread colour for the spider into your machine and then stitch round number seven. Load your thread colour for the word Halloween into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number eight. Okay, so I've had a thread break. So what do you do when you get a thread break 
so that you can carry on stitching. I re-threaded my machine and then I went back 20 stitches in the settings of my machine and now I'm just going to carry on as if nothing had happened. We're now going to attach the backing fabric so turn your hoop over, place your fabric over the outline and take it in place. You're now going to pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number 9 and that's going to secure your backing fabric to the hoop. We're now ready to trim up the excess uh, fabric from both back and front of the hoop so turn your hoop over and trim around the edge taking care of course not to cut your stitches. Making sure that you've got your matching bobbin and thread loaded into your machine, you're now going to stitch round number 10 and that's going to zigzag around the edge of the house and then do the decorative satin stitching afterwards. Now that all the stitching is finished we can now remove this from the hoop. Turn your hoop over and just trim around the edge of the stitch line, taking care of course not to cut your stitches. Using a sharp pair of fabric scissors we're now going to just trim up this stitch line here at the top of the house just so that when we come to join it it's all nice and neat and you just want to cut close to the stitch line without cutting it of course. And that's that segment completed. We can now set this aside. We're now going to do the second hooping and this file is the one with the uh, roof of the house, the clouds and the moon in it. So load that file into your machine, then you're going to hoop and pin two layers of wash away stabiliser as you did for the first hooping. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one and that's going to give you a placement outline for your batting. If you wish to add a little hanger for your house there's a little mark here and that's where you're going to place it so put it on that mark and then tape it in place. Then you're going to place your batting over the top and tape that in place as well. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it. And that's also going to give you placement outlines for your fabrics as well. Trim away your excess batting from around the edge of the stitch line, taking care of course not to cut off your loop if you've added one. Place your fabric for the clouds over the outlines and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number three to secure it. Trim around the edge of this, these stitch lines here just to remove the fabric from 
the moon area I'm just going to trim this little bit here, it saves me trimming it later. Okay. Place your fabric for the moon over the outline here and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number four to secure it. You're now going to trim out this area of your fabric and now place your fabric for the house over the outline and tape that in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number five to secure it. You've now got your outline for your window fabric here. So place your fabric over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number six to secure it. Trim away the fabric from around the window and around the house. We're going to trim away some of the excess um, fabric from around the moon as well. making sure that you got your th thread colour for the satin stitching around the window loaded into your machine. You're now going to stitch round number seven and that's going to do the, the zigzagging of the raw edges ar around here, here and the roof and it's also going to do the satin stitching uh, around the window as well. Next you're going to place your backing fabric, so turn your hoop over, place it over your fabric over the outline and then tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number 8 to secure it. You're now going to trim up the excess fabric from both back and front of your hoop so turn your hoop over and trim around the stitch line or the edge of the stitch line should I say taking care not to cut any of the stitches. Take care not to cut your uh, ribbon off either if you put one on there. Making sure that you've got a matching bobbin and thread loaded into your machine for the satin stitching. You're now going to stitch round number nine and that's going to do the satin stitching around the house, the clouds and the moon. Lastly you're going to stitch the bats so load your thread colour for those into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number 10. So that's our second hooping completed so we can now remove this from the hoop. When you cut around the edge of it take care not to cut off your hanger if you've added one. So turn your hoop over 
And I'm going to start there just so that I can cut without forgetting it. And just trim around the edge taking care not to cut the stitching of course. Next you want to trim up, uh, neaten up this edge here so that you trim it close to this stitch line because that's going to be the join eventually. And that's our second segment complete and you can put that aside for the minute. We're now going to do the third hooping, so load file 3 into your machine. Hoop your two layers of wash away stabiliser and pin around the top edge of your hoop as before. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number 1 and that's going to give you a placement outline for your batting. Place your batting over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two. Trim away your excess batting from around the edge of the stitch line. Place your front fabric for the house over the batting and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number three to secure it. Place your window fabric over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number four to secure it. Trim away the excess fabric from around the edge of the stitch line. Making sure that you've got your colour loaded in for the satin stitching of the window in your machine. You're now going to stitch round number five. Change your thread colour to whichever colour you want for the cobweb and then stitch round number 6. Load your thread colour for the word happy into your machine and then stitch round number 7. It's now time to add the backing fabric so turn your hoop over, place your fabric over the outline and tape it in place. Load your matching bobbin and thread for the satin stitching around the edge of the house into your machine. And then you're going to stitch round number 8 and that's going to secure your backing fabric. Trim up the excess fabric from around the edge of the house, both back and front. So turn your hoop over. making sure that you've got your matching bobbin and thread for the satin stitching around the border of the house loaded into your machine. You're now going to stitch round number 9 and that's going to do the uh, zigzagging around the border here and it's going to stop around about here so that we can join this piece onto it. So 
So take your segment with the moon in the clouds and you're going to align this stitch line here on top of this stitch line here where the zigzagging ends. And I'm going to pop a pin in it. If you use pins, make sure you keep them right out of the way of the stitch line. And the stitch line, of course, is going to be over the top of this stitch line here. I'm going to put a little bit of tape just to hold this edge down and the same here. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number 10 and that's going to zigzag along here and join the two pieces together. We're now going to stitch colour number 11 and that's going to travel down here and along and stop where we need to add our next segment. We're now going to add the first segment that we did down here. Now you're going to align this edge here where the zigzagging stops here. And you want this stitch line here to sit on top of this stitch line here. And then we'll pin it in place. And once again, make sure that you keep your pins out the way of this stitch line. I'm just going to put a little piece of tape here and here just to hold that flat. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number 12 and that's going to zigzag along here and join the two pieces together. Check to make sure that your tape isn't going to get in the way of the stitching and then you're going to stitch round number 13 and that's going to do the satin stitching on the rest of the segment with the exception of the side because that's where our join is going to be onto the next segment. Now that the stitching is completed we're going to free this from the hoop so turn your hoop over and trim around the edge as you have before. What we need to do now is trim up this edge ready to join as we have with the previous ones. And that's our three segments complete. We're now going to set these aside. We're now going to do the fourth hooping. So load file number four into your machine. Hoop and pin your two layers of wash away stabilizer and then load your hoop into your machine and stitch round number one and that's going to be your placement outline for your batting. Place your batting over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it. Trim away the excess batting from around the edge of the stitch line. Place your front fabric over the top of the batting and take it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number three to secure it and that's also going to give you your placement outline for your window fabrics. Place your uh, window fabric over the two 
window areas and tape them in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number four to secure them. Trim away the excess fabric from around the windows. Load your thread colour for the satin stitching around the windows into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number five and that's going to do the zigzagging around the windows and then it's going to do the satin stitching around this one. This one will be completed later on. Load your thread colour for the little spider on the rooftop and then stitch round number six. It's now time to add your backing fabric, so turn your hoop over, place it over the outline and tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number 7 to secure it. You're now going to trim up all the excess fabric from both front and back of your hoop, so turn your hoop over. Load your matching bobbin and thread for the satin stitching around the house into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number 8 and that's going to zigzag around half of the house and then we're going to join the previous segments onto this one. We're now going to join the previous segments to this one and that's going to sit here like so. You want to line this corner up here where the zigzagging stops there and this corner here where the zigzagging stops there and you want this stitch line going all the way around here to sit on top of this stitch line here. So line your corner up and then pin it in place and again keep it out the way of your pins out the way of the stitch line. You might have to pull a little bit on your um, applique so that the lines meet it's because when you remove anything from the hoop it relaxes so you just um, sometimes have to jiggle it a little bit and I'm going to put a little bit of tape here just to hold that corner down and another piece up here Pop your hoop into your machine and now you're going to stitch round number 9 and that's going to do the zigzagging all the way down here to join the, the, uh, all the segments together. Check your join, make sure that you're happy with it. If you're not, unpick the zigzag stitching, reposition your segments and then restitch uh, round number nine again. If you're happy with it, making sure that you've got a matching bobbin and thread loaded into your machine, you're now going to stitch round number 10, and that's going to do the satin stitch border.
Now that the stitching's complete, we're going to turn this over and free it from the hoop. All that remains now is for us to dissolve all the excess stabiliser from around the edge and we're going to do that with a cotton bud and some warm water. So take your cotton bud, dip it in the water and then just wipe it around the edge. And we're going to do the same on the back where the joins are. And that's our haunted house finished. I hope you enjoyed this stitch along. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos as soon as they're published. Do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. There's lots of ideas, help and inspiration there for everybody. And thank you very much for joining me. You'll find a link to this design in the video description below, along with lots of other information such as where I get my supplies and some discount codes for you.